refraction of light is the topic that uh, we'll be talking about today refraction has many real life applications basically refraction is the bending of light when it passes from one material into another and this a bending of light is because of the change in speed of light for example when light moves through air its speed is 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second but when light enters glass the speed becomes 2 times 10 to the 8 meter per second so when light passes from air into glass and it hits the surface of glass there is a sudden change in speed which causes the bending so basically refraction is due to the change in speed of light and when light goes from air into water it bends a little bit different from when it goes from air into glass so we can define something called refractive index based on the speed of light so here is an incident ray in air coming into another material let's say water and the refractive index is defined as the speed of light in air divided by the speed of light in water so that's the definition of refractive index refractive index is the speed of light in air divided by the speed of light in water so knowing that the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second we can calculate the refractive index of water so here it is the speed of light in water is 2.25 times 10 to the 8 so the ratio gives us 1.33 another a way of defining refractive index is by applying the law of refraction the law of refraction is called Snell's law and Snell's law uses the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction all right so here is the incident ray this is the perpendicular drawn to the surface and this is the refracted ray so we have the incident ray making an angle with the perpendicular that is the angle of incidence and the refracted ray makes an angle with the perpendicular which is the angle of refraction so according to Snell's law n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 n1 is the refractive index of this material n2 is the refractive index of the material into which light is coming theta 1 is the angle of incidence and theta 2 is the angle of refraction so if you talk about air the refractive index of air is 1 and assuming that this angle is 50 degrees theta 1 is 50 and if, if this is water the refractive index is 1.33 we can calculate the angle theta 2 so mathematically sine 50 gives 0 0.7660 and sine theta 2 is 0 0.7660 divided by 1.33 which gives 0 0.7575 take the sine inverse of that you get 35 degrees so you see that light bends towards the perpendicular when it goes from air into water on the other hand if light goes from water into air it goes away from the perpendicular so the idea is if it goes into a optically more denser medium 
it will bend towards like air into water water is water has a greater optical density than air so it bends towards but if it goes into a less optically denser it bends away the third idea of refractive index comes from a simple application let us suppose that you're trying to um, gauge the height of a swimming pool the depth of a swimming pool standing outside you're always going to think that the depth of the swimming pool is smaller than it actually is this is because the the bottom of the swimming pool will appear to be raised up and so actually there is a depth a real depth which is the actual depth of the water but for, when looking from above you think that the depth is smaller so that's called the apparent depth if you take the ratio of the real depth to the apparent depth you get the refractive index now by means of ray diagrams i'm trying to show you why the base appears to be raised okay but first the definition refractive index is real depth by apparent depth so let's uh, so here is the ray diagram let me explain that so there are two rays starting out from this point one of them is refracted this way and the second one at a slightly different angle is refracted here but when somebody views it from outside both of these appear to be coming from this point which i'm calling b so we think that the base is here instead of at a so it's not only raised it's also shifted to the side so here is the real depth and this is the apparent depth cd is the real depth and be is the apparent depth so we know that the refractive index of water is 1.333 assuming that the real depth of the swimming pool is 4 meters we can calculate and show that the apparent depth would be 3 meters so this is the general idea of refractive index it's basically caused by the change in speed of light and the law of refraction snell's law is very important and number 3 the depth perceived depth always appears to be smaller than the actual depth thank you and we'll see you on the next one